the best thing, and I always tell managers this, the best thing that you get as a manager is establishing a work ethic. The work ethic, the work that you have to put in as a manager, people have no clue the hours you have to put in. So I always tell guys, whenever we have a first year meeting with the managers that you, you, you don't have to manage and be a coach. We don't, not every manager wants to be a coach and that's fine, but you're going to establish a work ethic that when you get in the real world, people just don't want to work and you're going to be able to just to run circles around them because they don't want to do the extra like we as managers have had to do. Mm -hmm. So we know that we're going to, you know, we know whatever it's going to take to get the job done, we're going to do it. Whether it's at midnight, whether it's at 6 a.m. And in this, in this world, people are just working nine to five. And after five o'clock, it's over with. They're not answering emails or texts or calls where that's not the case with, with managers. So the most important thing to me is, is the work ethic part that you get, that you get built in you, ingrained in you, and then the opportunities are endless after that. Do you guys agree with me on that? Uh, I agree hundred percent. Couldn't agree more. And, and Spence, we talked about this, I think in the first episode, uh, I, I like to refer to it as the, the world's greatest internship. Yes. It's good. Because, you know, our, look, our guy, Ryan Heath, uh, who, who's just stepped away from the program, he's going to go and work in well, God knows what, but I, I look, I, we've talked about it. I look at him and I'm like, that dude's going to kill it because he just has an attention to detail and not just Ryan, any, any manager who's going on to, you know, become a graduate assistant or whatever. There's, there's a work ethic, like you said, and an attention to detail and just knowing how to get things done. Like we say, FAW, find a way mm -hmm. that, I mean, <laughs> other kids our age, they just don't get it. I no, mean, that's, that's the way I, I, I like, I like to see guys as far as managers, I call it shake. You got shake. Do you got, can you get something done without asking somebody 70 questions about it? Can you, a task be given to you? It hits a roadblock. Do you got enough shake to, to sit there and think, all right, what, what's my next option? Kagan, prime example, we're down at Daytona Beach. They're not giving you colored copies at the front desk. <laughs> so what do you do? You got shake enough to say, oh, well, let me just go down to the next hotel and see if they do it. That's shake. I was proud of you on that one. Look, yeah, luckily they didn't find out I didn't stay there. We did it for like a solid week. Hey, but the one thing that, that my family has taught me is if you just act like you're supposed to be there, most of the time, nobody's going to ever say anything to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We walked in that side door there and kind of hung around, and we're, we were looking at, like, the, the menu and the little restaurant in there. I was, you know, checking around, and then walk up to that front desk, and it's like, hey, uh, love staying here, blah, blah, blah. It's been a fun time. <laughs> you did this for me like you did last night? 